Hey guys, Sarah here. So I'm getting around my Facebook ban by making a YouTube video and giving you a link to it. Um, because there were a couple of things I really wanted to talk about this week with respect to mindset and responsibility and I wasn't able to do any Facebook lives, which, you know, it is what it is. But so here's the thing. I made a longer video. It's 15 minutes and it's about, it's an acronym called ASKS and it's all tools that I use and encourage people to use when we run up against these mental challenges, these walls, right? where we start to second guess everything. We second guess our abilities, sometimes our programming, sometimes whether we pick the right program, whether we pick the right goals, whether we should work towards things or not. And um, you know, and so this happens with everybody. A lot of times people get frustrated about results or a lack of results or slow results. Um, when it comes to changing their body, their lifestyle, their physique, their fat stores, we, we experience this sometimes when we're training for something specifically, right, to accomplish something. So I know some of you have been training for races and have had some hard days out on your runs, right? Just hitting this physical and mental wall of just being like, I can't do it. I know personally I have struggled with this um, a ton, but recently with my kettlebell stuff, which I shared with you all, I just was feeling like I just can't do it. So I made the acronym and I made this longer video. So when you have time to watch it, um, you know, check it out. Because what I want everyone to know and to remember is that on the other side of that wall, right, when we hit these walls, we feel like we just can't go any further, is growth and results and lasting change. So if we quit every time we come up against this, then we never get anywhere. But it's hard sometimes to push through and it's hard to have perspective because where we are when we're discouraged feels so real, right? And we tend to have a lot of self-pity and, it's, and, and that's completely justified. It's, it's how we feel, They're, our feelings are valid and I'm not telling you not to feel that way. But there are things you can do to kind of push through that and work through it so that you don't stay there because you can't live there. That's not a life. And some people choose to live there their entire life. And so what I want for you all to, is to have some help in pushing for, through these things, right? These experiences, these, these walls, these feelings of discouragement and, um, you know, sometimes they're physical and sometimes they're mental and emotional in nature, whatever it is, moving past them is important. So check out that other video um, to hear about that or watch that. Um, the acronym I think is pretty helpful. So I use it personally. So what I want to talk about really quickly today with you all, and I'm going to try and keep it short. So I posted that article at the beginning of the week by Jill Coleman about responsibility. And I think so much of what she talks about is really true. It's great. And we do often like to complain, right? Feel bad about our, feel bad for ourselves when things get hard. And so the responsibility piece is important and that's really related to the other video. But another thing that we need to talk about with responsibility is our responsibility for our actions and our lack of responsibility over other people's actions. So what happens for a lot of people when they're changing their lives, right? You're changing your lifestyle, you're creating new nutrition, movement, exercise practices, maybe um, you're just changing how you live, right? Like going to bed earlier, maybe choosing not to go out, maybe choosing not to go to certain restaurants, maybe choosing not to go to certain um, events or places, getting lunch with your coworkers. Maybe you're including, not just cutting things that way, maybe you're including new things, right? Like. Um, leisure walks at lunch or you know getting to the gym or going home to work out or whatever and what will happen is sometimes this change is huge really it, it sometimes it's like it's it's major and especially you know with a program like germinate we're, we're not just talking about exercise and diet right we're talking about whole lifestyle changes talking about managing stress. So when we're trying to manage stress we have to say no to some things right when we are trying to um, set ourselves up for success, then sometimes we're opting not to go to certain restaurants or participate in certain like social events because we know that there's gonna be stuff there that it's gonna be hard for us to say no to and right now it doesn't, it doesn't work with where we're at and what we're trying to accomplish. And inevitably we get some resistance, right? And so maybe some of you have already experienced this from family members or friends, um, coworkers. When we're trying to do something differently, um, we kind of basically put ourselves in a position of being like scrutinized by other people, right? And unfortunately, a lot of people just think things that 
that it's their business and that it's for them to comment on what we are eating, what we're not eating, and what we are not doing, or whatever. And it can be really hard um, to deal with this stuff sometimes. Sometimes it's because of the people that they are, if we care about them, or they're people we can't get away from, right? We don't really want to deal with that kind of tension and that conflict. The other thing is maybe if we're like a little insecure about where we are in our journey, maybe we're not seeing results as fast as we would like to, or maybe a lot of the changes, the victories for us have been non-scale victories, but we're still working on physique change, right? And then we feel like, you know, if someone's criticizing us or saying something, well, why are you even doing this? And we feel like it's so much easier sometimes to be like, well, yeah, I'm doing it. Obviously, I lost 15 pounds. But if we're not quite there yet, right, we can feel like really self-conscious about that. And so I want to talk a little bit about that today um, because this is the thing. We talked about this at Christmas, too, with my Wayfaring Wellness Coaching Club. There are people out there that are just going to push food. Sometimes it comes from a place for, often it comes from a place of love, okay? A lot of times family members, parents, grandparents, whatever, this is how they love, right? They share food, they're like, no, eat, 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 I wanna care for you this way. And maybe that's the way that they were shown love. And whether it's healthy or right or not, depending on the quantity and the quality of the food, whatever, we're not even gonna get into that. But what I want you to know is that you are not responsible for other people's actions, okay? You are not responsible for somebody else's response to your personal choices when it comes to how you eat and how you move, the things you say no to and things you say yes to. And that also includes you saying no to certain things because they're stressful. Maybe school people are always trying to pressure you to volunteer for something, but you just know that if you take that thing on, you're gonna miss your workouts or you're gonna be too tired to plan your meals or whatever. And what I want you to know is that it's totally okay for a period of time right now, you know, as long as you need to take to give yourself the freedom to say no to things, no matter what people say, no matter what their response is, right? And if they cannot respect your personal decisions to eat something or not eat something or not go somewhere or whatever, then that's their problem, okay? And you can come back to this group or you can email me and complain about it if you want and I will have your back because I know it can be a really hard thing to deal with, but the fact of the matter is, is that like, we're not responsible for other people's decisions, but we are responsible for our own decisions and how we take care of our body. And at the end of our life, what we can't do is show up and be like, well, I would have been more healthy or I would have done all these other things, but I didn't want to hurt this person's feelings or I didn't want to deal with this person's response or whatever. It's like, no, you're stuck with the results of the choices that you make, right? So don't be stuck with the results of the choices that someone else is making for you, right? And if somebody that you really love and is close to you, like a best friend or a spouse or a partner is giving you trouble, then I think it's definitely worth just talking to them candidly and saying, you know what, it's really challenging for me when you, you know, criticize how I'm doing this, or if you make comments about this, this is really important to me, and I want to be a healthy, whole person that is happy in my body and in my lifestyle, and these are the things I'm doing to support myself in that, and when you're not supportive of that, you're not supportive of me, and that, that hurts, that, that makes it difficult for me, so, you know, and then when it's people that are not nice and not worth getting into with, and I, I would encourage you, if it's not someone you're super close to, don't get into it with them, okay? If it's a coworker or a acquaintance or even a friend that like you don't feel like deserves the time and the explanation of you saying, well, I'm doing it for this way, do not discuss it. And even if it is somebody that you care about, I would definitely encourage you not to discuss your food choices while you're making your food choices. So if someone wants to talk to you after the fact or if you feel like talking to someone else after the fact about your nutrition practices, then that's cool. But just, I think that talking about it in the moment, especially if it's like over a meal with an audience, not a good idea, okay? You know, because you spent 10 weeks with Germany and me and with your group, you know more or less the framework that you need to work from. Right? You know that you need to prioritize certain kinds of foods most of the time in order to support you. Not just you know in your physique and fat loss goals, but your energy levels, feeling good, controlling cravings, controlling hunger, right? You don't need to explain that or justify that to anybody else. If they wanna learn it, send them to me. I'll teach them all about it, right? But it's not your job to educate them unless you want to, and if, unless it's somebody you think, you know, deserves that and will benefit from it, then by all means. 
But what I don't want you to think is that you're responsible for every single person's response. You don't have to get into it. You don't have to explain yourself. You don't have to justify your decisions. You can just stand there and smile and let them think whatever they want. And if they want to keep pushing you, let them act crazy. Let them go nuts. Let them like try to push you to do something. And you know, for whatever reason it is, maybe, like I said, maybe it's completely a pure intention. Maybe they just want you to be included or maybe they just want to feed you and made the special thing they want you to taste, right? And tasting is fine if you want to taste it, but if tasting it, is going to be a problem for you then just say no thanks i'm not having that right now or and don't even explain it don't make it a diet thing or a nutrition thing or whatever just be like no they don't know and you might feel a little insecure at first when you first start doing it you know and i know personally when i first started having to do this stuff i was like oh they kind of think that i'm like you know trying to lose weight or i'm like a picky eater or whatever but the thing is people are going to think what they're going to think no matter what no matter what you say honestly they're going to think whatever. And you know what? What they think about you, none of your business. Doesn't matter. So don't even worry about it. You stick to your plan. You do you. You do what feels right to you. And don't worry about these other people, the cookie pushers, the chip pushers, the whatever. Whatever it is that they're pushing on you, you have a really good sense now of what, you know, and you're learning. That's fine. You don't know everything, but you have a good sense of like what kind of food works for you what your workout schedule works for you, what your lifestyle needs to look like in order for you to be well rested, manage your stress, eat good food and whatever. And I just really wanna encourage you to stick to that and not feel like you need to justify that to people. And if you need to come back to the group, like I said, or email me and like sort of work that, work through that or work through negative experiences, then go ahead. But don't eat things or do things to appease other people. Do it for you. Do it because it's consistent with what you want, what works for you and your goals, big picture. And when you say no, don't feel like you have to justify it. So that's a responsibility key, you piece. You are not responsible for other people's responses to your actions, your decisions, and your lifestyle choices. If you wanna get into it with people you care about, like I said, awesome. But um, I would just encourage you to understand that you don't have to justify it and it's, it's personal. So, okay, if you have any questions, you want to talk about this more, um, you know what to do, comment, right? Bring it up in the Facebook group. I'm going to post this on our website. It might be a few days before I can actually post it on Facebook because my videos are all banned from Facebook. Yay! Um, what a nuisance, but it is what it is, right? So I'm working with it. Um, but I hope that this helps because I think you guys are doing such a great job. And it's hard. It's not easy to do what you're doing, especially for those of you that it's been years since you've really made this a priority, um, made your self-care a priority. And so it can be hard. Old habits die hard. And old habits for other people die hard too. So just know that sometimes your change is going to make people uncomfortable. But you know what? That's on them. Okay. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.